Welcome back. 13 minutes past the hour on this Monday morning with a, a gorgeous shot of the sparkling Eagle River from one of our tower cams. And Aaron, we're in for a uh, chilly week ahead. Yeah, we're talking about those temperatures through most of this week, staying in the teens for South Central. Hard to believe, though, that we've seen the entire month of January with above average temperatures. Uh, we have yet to see a single day with below uh, average conditions. That's set to change this week, though, uh, as we do have a ridge of high pressure that's going to build in across the bearing, and that's going to set the stage for some colder weather that's going to filter uh, into South Central. We're already seeing temperatures about 13 degrees colder in Anchorage, 15 degrees colder in King Salmon, uh, and Kodiak as well, seeing some colder conditions. So we've got a ridge of high pressure uh, out over the eastern uh, parts of the Aleutians, which is leading to some colder conditions. Also seeing a ridge uh, just south of uh, the Panhandle, where we're going to continue to watch uh, for some areas of light snow out towards our light to moderate snow for uh, parts of southeast. What we continue to watch out west is stormy weather. We've got air, uh, several areas up under uh, winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and some blizzard warnings out towards the Chukchi Sea coastline, uh, towards the Yukon Delta. We're talking about two to four inches of snowfall with a light glaze of ice with gusts to 50 miles per hour. Uh, then as you head through the Seward Peninsula and then out towards Unalakleet, six to 10 inches of snowfall uh, with an additional glaze of ice as well with gusts to 60 miles per hour. And then as you head further north, the snowfall totals will decrease, but the winds themselves uh, will continue to remain fairly windy, leading to some blowing snow and some reduced uh, visibility. So most of the active uh, activity that we're seeing this morning is pushing through Norton Sound, the Yukon Delta, uh, and southern parts of the Sewer Peninsula. That will continue to build northward uh, through the remainder of our Monday. Here at home, we are expecting uh, to see some mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies throughout the afternoon hours. Temperatures will steadily drop into the mid to upper teens uh, as we head throughout the afternoon. There is that uh, area of low pressure that's going to continue to pull off towards the north northwest, leading to widespread snow and winds and some a light glaze of ice for western Alaska. Now, what we're going to be watching here over the next several days is a ridge of high pressure uh, that's going to strengthen over the bearing, and that's going to set the stage uh, for some colder weather to spill, uh, to spill into south central. We're also talking about uh, windy conditions Tuesday night into Wednesday. We're going to be expected to see some Matanuska winds develop. Uh, we're also going to begin to see some very windy conditions for Wednesday for a large portion of south central uh, as we welcome in the middle of the week, and that's going to drive in some colder conditions. You can see highs by Wednesday at 19 degrees uh, by the end of the week, dropping into the mid uh, to uh, mid-teens for a large portion of the region. So 29 today in Homer, 31 in Seward, Waukenai and Soldotna stay in the teens. Uh, you can see Prince William Sound windy through the passes for both Valdez as well as Whittier. Uh, we've got a high of 8 degrees in Golcana, 33 degrees in Cordova. Uh, through the valley, we've got those temperatures in the teens and the 20s. Now Willow, uh, likely will stay uh, in the upper single digits and lower teens for most of the day. Uh, for all of us, though, be prepared for some colder weather as we welcome in the rest of this week. Freezing fog both this morning and tomorrow morning, and then Tuesday night into Wednesday, those winds beginning to develop. Uh, our Chinook winds are our warming winds. Those come out of the southeast. These are going to be our uh, Katabatic winds or our Bora winds, which means uh, we're going to be dealing with some very cold winds heading our way through the middle of this week. So be prepared for some bitter wind chills. Uh, and yes, a windy day by Wednesday. All right, thanks for preparing us for that.